um, in UK Biobank uh, here at the meeting and also um, we're streaming the, the meeting so that people uh, around the UK and beyond uh, can both hear what's going on and also contribute in terms of, of questions. Um, the program is very tight as you'll see uh, and uh, the intent really was to give a flavour of what is going on in the different aspects of, of UK Biobank. Uh, during the panel discussions though there will be opportunities uh, to ask questions, there will be roving mics, there are cards that you could give uh, to the people with the mics as well if you prefer and we'll try to get through as many questions uh, as possible. But this, this meeting, um, which as uh, Mike Rowland says is, a, is intended to be our annual meeting uh, now that the resource is really mature, uh, is an experiment. We're looking to see how we can make the meeting better and most importantly, we're looking to see how we can make UK Biobank better because the job of the UK Biobank team is to build the resource for others to use. Um, so we want input from participants about how we can make this resource better from their perspective and also from the research community as to what are the things that could be done to make this resource more usable, more useful for the kinds of research uh, that they want. So um, uh, we're going to kick off with the most important aspect of the, the whole resource and that is the participants. Um, and uh, I'm very grateful to Fergus Walsh from the, the BBC uh, for having agreed to chair um, a discussion with a, s a small select group of participants from across the UK uh, and a member of the Ethics and Governance Council to talk about you know, why UK Biobank from their perspective. Uh, Fergus uh, and the panel, please. 